Hello everyone, Darkstar here and welcome to my GZ Doom Builder tutorial about how to build a way of teleporting vertically by dropping from one sector onto another. What this does is that it simulates the event of simply dropping from a higher floor through a hole onto a lower floor or vice versa. This method works completely without scripts and without 3D floors. It might also be more complicated than a higher 3D floor in the same room, but in the long run, it will be much more time conservative because if you have like a detailed room and you want to fall into another detailed room, you have to make like another 3D floor and another 3D floor and another 3D floor. And that can be quite very tedious, especially if you have like a third floor above or below them. So this tutorial should help you guys out. Uh, the map format I'm using right now is the GZ Doom UDMF format because that gives you access to all the possible features including new ones which don't exist in other formats because they are outdated. So the UDMF aka the Universal Doom Map format is the one I recommend. Now the first thing you want to do is that you want to make two rooms, a lower floor and a higher floor. As you can see I'm ma making the player start at the higher floor because I want them to drop from the higher floor and go through this hole onto the lower floor. As you can see I already made the holes they are two little smaller squares inside the bigger sectors. Now the first thing that you want to make sure about these holes is that you want to make sure that they're both the same size and the same shape. Now the next thing that you want to do is that you want to make the floors and ceilings for both sectors to be on the same height positions since this is the lower sector and this is the floor since it's at zero you want to drag the floor on the upper sector down to zero okay so there we go now you want to do the same thing with the ceiling the upper the upper sector's ceiling is at 288 so you want to drag the lower sector ceiling to 288 Okay, so there we go. Now the next thing that you want to do is that you want to make slightly smaller squares inside the holes. We'll make it 120 by 120. And once again, you have to make them the same size. Now what you do is that you want to drag the ceiling for the lower sector's hole and the floor on the higher sector's floor up to the floor, the starting floor of the upper sector. So you just drag this to 160 and you drag this down to 160. And since this is the only texture we want to see, this is going to be like the, the holes texture. So we'll copy and paste this. Now there's a few more things that you need to get done to get phase one complete. There's three phases in total. Now you want to go in between the two squares in this little corner right here. Make the grid smaller. Make sure you have things mode selected. And you want to go down to portals and select upper sector, obviously for the upper sector. And you want to do the similar thing for the opposite sector. Lower floor right here, lower sector. Now what this is supposed to do is that before the player falls in, it allows the player to see the opposite sector depending which one they're standing on. So you want to select both of them. And I select new, and I give them both a tag of 1. Since they both have the same tag, they will coordinate with each other. And you want them to be placed in the same spot in the fake holes of the sectors. So we'll just test it out. And you'll get some weird errors, like what you see right here, we can see through the lower sector and we get this w little weird opacity with the sector so we don't want that you want to go back into the editor and 
And the way to fix this is that you want to delete the texture on the fake floor right here. And you want to delete the texture on the fake ceiling up here. So let's just try to test this out again. Now it looks a bit more nicer, but there's one thing that we're, we're forgetting. As you can see, when I look directly down there, I can see a different texture. And so we're not completely finished with phase one. So now I'm back in the editor. And the one last thing that you need to do to complete phase one is that you want to make sure that the textures for both floors and ceilings are the same texture. And since we have different textures for the floors, I'm going to copy the floor texture for the lower sector and paste it right here. So now let's just test it again and see if everything's fixed. And so there we go. We have now completed phase one. We can clearly see the lower sector all fine and dandy. And now you want to begin phase two, which will be the most complicated thing in this tutorial. Now the next thing that you want to do is that you want the whole sectors to have an individual tag. I'm going to click unused for this. It's going to have a tag of one. And just to let you guys know, the sector tags are separate from the item tags and the line tags. So you don't need to worry about the tags targeting the other two items. So we're just going to leave it at that. And you want to do the same thing for the opposite sector. This will have a tag of two. This will have a tag of one. Now here comes the more complicated things. You want to go to things mode. And you want to put an item, a certain item, in the sector. And I'm just going to type in the item number here. And you want the item in the upper sector to be eyes below fake floor. Yes, I know that's confusing, but that's what you have to do. And you want to go to actions and set it to teleport in sector. And you want the sector tag to be the tag that it's in. Now you want to do the similar thing for the opposite sector, except you want this to be eyes above fake floor in the lower sector. And you want the, ta the sector tag to be the tag that it's in as well. So we've got those out of the way. Now I'm going to put the teleporting items right here. So you want to go to teleport and you want teleport Z height and gravity. I'm going to decrease the grid size. And I'm going to put the Z teleport in the lower sector right on the top left right here. And in the upper sector, I'm going to put it on the bottom right. Now the next item that you want is that you want a map spot. I'm going to type in the item number here. So we've got a map spot right here. And you want to do the same thing, vice versa, for this sector. Now note how the Z teleport is on the top left right here, but in the opposite sector is the map spot. And we have the vice versa for these two items too. Yes, that, yes, that is what you have to do. And one thing that you need to make sure is that you want all four of these items to be facing the same angle. That is very important. Now the next thing you want to do is that you want to give each of these items an individual tag. Unused tag. This will have a tag at two. This will have a tag at three. This will have a tag of four. And this will have a tag of five. Now the source tag, you want to target the map spot in the same sector. Now we're going to check this. This has a tag of three. See so now we have it targeting the map spot right here. It says this has a tag of five. 
you want to target the source tag 5 right here. And you want these to target the teleport destinations to be the teleports on the opposite sector. Since the opposite sector has a tag of 4 from the lower sector right here. And you want to do the same thing. Since this is at tag of 2, you want this to be set at 2. So now we've completed phase 2. Now the last phase, which is phase 3, is that you want to make a dummy sector. And you want the dummy sector to be at the same height as the upper sector because this will determine where you teleport. If you fall through this level right here, it will teleport you. Let's move that to more in the middle. And you want to go to lines and select two of the walls right here. And you want both of them to have the property of transfer heights and you want the options to be set to do not draw. Now you want these two to tag the separate tags on the sectors. So we'll set this to tag 1 targeting this sector and you want to do the same thing for the opposite sector. Now this is all you need to do for the teleporting process. So now I'm just going to add a demon and a super shotgun in the lower sector. And now let's just test it out. Now we can clearly see the demon and the super shotgun down in there. Now let's go there and pick up the shotgun. <gasps> As you can see, we we are in the lower sector and the demon is attacking us and we picked up the weapon. And presto, we have succeeded making a vertical teleporter to teleport from that sector to this sector. Now it looks like we're in a lower sector below the higher floor. So there we go. And so that is it for this tutorial. I hope this helps you guys out to make some interesting level designs. You can do some really cool tricks with this method. I would also like to give a shout out to Chubb Z Doomer. He has a lot of interesting Doom Builder tutorials. The link to his channel will be in the description below. And I hope this tutorial helps him out too. So to all you good people, have a good future.